What's up guys, it's Atomic, and I thought I would weigh in giving you my thoughts on the dedicated servers that have come to Friday the 13th of game on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. So in case you don't know if you've been living under a rock, back on Monday, September 10th, they finally, 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 after nearly a year and a half, released dedicated servers on console. Is this a case of promises made, promises kept? Well, yeah, but is it also a case of way too little, way too late? Uh, pretty much. Well, let's get into it. So yes, dedicated servers are here. So what's that mean for you and me, the average player? Well, we're free to play however we want now. We do not have to worry about the game ending early from now on. As you guys know, watching my videos, I have had to constantly, constantly, constantly take a look at, well, who's hosting? Okay, this guy. I can't kill them right away. In fact, it would be better if I saved them for last. Because if not, there's a chance that the host leaves. And when the host would leave, the game ends. You don't get credit for playing as Jason. You don't get any of your CP, any of your XP. You get nothing. It was a total waste of time. You do occasionally run into the people that say, Oh, I'm the host. If you kill me, I'm going to leave. You know, what a detriment. And we put up with this crap for like a year and a half. Totally ridiculous. But finally, that is no longer an issue. We are free to play however we want. It's great. And so far, I don't have too many complaints about it. Everything is running smooth. I will tell you, for the last two or three weeks, I've had a hard time finding full lobbies... It takes forever to get into a room, it seems. That's not the case anymore. You load it up, you're ready to go, just like that. Boom. You press quick play, you're ready to go. And it's been a pretty enjoyable experience. I don't have to worry about who the host is. I'm free to do what I want. And even as a counselor, you know, you're having fun. All of a sudden, the game ends early. What happened? Oh, the host left. That's great. So while I am definitely enjoying the dedicated servers, we have to remember, guys, this is Friday the 13th of the game. No update of any kind is complete without some kind of problem or some kind of bug. And that's what I'm going to be covering over the next couple of minutes. So from time to time, this will happen. You hit quick play, try to find a room... Try to find a dedicated server. Nothing happens. You can't get in. As you see, I'm up to almost three and a half minutes now where it's searching. No luck. I can't get in. So what should I do? Hit cancel, right? Well, let's see what happens. You hit cancel, and now you're going to be stuck here. Nothing you can do. It won't go away. I mean, maybe it will eventually, <laughs> but I don't have the patience for it. I just waited three and a half minutes trying to get into a room. Now I'm going to be stuck here canceling for what seems like forever. And right now, there's no fix. You're just stuck. They claim they're looking into it. You know, have you tried different things? Did you try resetting your router? Did you try this, that? You know, who is your ISP? Blah, blah, blah. They said they're looking into it. We'll see what happens. Right now, the only fix is to quit to the dashboard, start up the game again. Now... That's an inconvenience, but it's not too bad. It only takes like a minute to quit, load the game back up, hit X a couple times, and you're ready to go. But this has happened to me on a few occasions, and a lot of other players are reporting it. So that's probably the biggest downfall when it concerns the dedicated servers themselves. But again, inconvenience yes but like i said it only takes a minute to get back into a game so if this happens to you quit to the dashboard start it up again another issue that some players have been reporting and it's happened to me as well it seems as though after every couple of matches two or three or sometimes not even that many it just seems random but after a match ends you'll get kicked out of the lobby and sent back to the main menu now it automatically starts searching for a new room, and you'll get in, and you can keep playing. But this kind of sucks if you're in a lobby, you're having fun, you like the people you're playing with, 
all of a sudden, boom, you're out. Those people you were playing with, huh, they're gone forever. Forget about it. So that does kind of suck, you know? You're having fun with people. You get sent back to the main menu. Again, not a huge issue. Everything will continue as normal. You get sent back and start searching for a new room. It's all good, but like I said, this could hurt the people. If you find some randoms and you're having fun with them, what the hell? Come on. Another issue you guys may have seen if you saw my dedicated server live stream, you know, when they first released. The big, well, it, it caused me to end the stream, basically, is after the match ended, Jason left, but I didn't. So the only thing to do was quit the game to the main menu. It sucked. You know, I was having fun. I was going to continue streaming. Jason left. People who had left the game beforehand, they were, you know, fine. But me and a couple other people, we were stuck. There was nothing we could do. And the only thing that I could do is quit the game and start up again. So, again, that's just another issue. Hopefully it gets ironed out. It's not a big deal. But come on, I want to continue to have my fun. There's also a couple other bugs that are still prevalent in the game. Well, actually, there's quite a few. But a couple that I did want to touch on here. If you guys remember, if you saw or heard, when I did my Jason 6 commentary video, I talked about how roof glitchers were back. And how were they doing this? Well... If Jason grabbed you and you had a pocket knife, you'd get pushed back. And because you got pushed back, somehow you went through the wall and all of a sudden you were on the roof. Now, I never saw this happen personally, but I did see something similar. So let me go ahead and show that to you guys now. So as you guys saw there, that player was doing nothing wrong at all. They were the last person alive. You know, I'm just spectating. I had already escaped. And I was actually enjoying the room, so I decided to stay in there, you know, and get my little points, whatever. And that person, they're just trying to hide from Jason. They're hiding, you know, in that closet. Jason eventually finds them. He grabs them, and that person glitch through the wall. I don't know what else you could call it, you know, because they had that pocket knife. They went right through the wall and all of a sudden, you know, the game basically ends. I left. I didn't stick around. I waited a little bit and then I said, I'm out of there. I'm not going to stick around for five more minutes. And, you know, nothing could be done right there. It totally sucks. That person is through the wall. Jason did nothing wrong. He did his job. He's grabbing the counselor. This person, they did their job. They were trying to hide. I seriously doubt that they thought, hmm, I know what will happen here. He'll grab me, and since I have a knife, I'm going to glitch through the wall. No, nothing like that. But because, you know, these glitches and bugs are still prevalent in the game, stuff like that happens, and it ruins the fun for everyone. So I hope something like that gets taken care of. There's really no excuse for it at this point. You know, it's one thing after another. And like I said, this isn't directly related to the dedicated servers, but it is an issue. And I guess this would be a good time to mention that is another, you know, I guess you could call it a gameplay change, is that the animation after Jason gets a pocket knife is a little different. It's kind of the same animation, but the big thing is, it happens a lot faster. 
And I think this is actually a bonus for Jason, because before, you could grab someone, all of a sudden you get hit by another counselor immediately, and that one counselor still gets their pocket knife. Now it's instant. If you grab them, they have a knife, they use it immediately. So I guess that helps Jason in the fact that, well, at least you're wasting one of the counselor's pocket knives. You know, it really sucks. Man, I grab this guy and I get hit. I didn't even get to take the guy's pocket knife away. Of course, there's still other bugs still in the game, and they claim to have addressed some issues. Now, I'm going to talk about that just for a minute. Well, maybe more than a minute, because... One of the bugs that they claim they fixed with this update was a bug in which counselors would get stuck when they were coming in and out of a window and hitting the map button. On PS4, it is the touchpad. Now, I can say I myself have never had that happen. Never once did I ever get stuck coming in or out of a window because I hit the map button. In fact, what I've noticed is I did that all the time. That's the perfect time to check your map. You know, one advantage Jason has over the counselors is that you can't move when you check your map as a counselor. Jason, yeah, you can still keep going forward and check the map whenever you want. Counselors can't do this. But anyway, they said, oh, people, you know, we fixed this bug. People are getting stuck. So now you can't check the map really any time unless you're standing still. You're going in and out of the window. You can't check your map. Opening, closing a door, can't do it. Setting a bear trap, you can't do it. And it just goes to show me how often I did this. You know, it's a force of habit, especially after playing the game for like a year and a half. It was a habit. That's the perfect time to check the map. So this really is a detriment to me, I think, for the counselors. You know, all the time, as I'm going in or out of a window, I can't do anything else, but that was the perfect time to hit the touchpad, get a look at the map. Now that you can't do that anymore, you know, it's it's not a big deal, but it's really going to have to, you know, change my habit with this. And it is, like I said, a little detriment to the counselor. So just be aware of that. The other thing, of course, is the boat noise. Now, in the patch notes, it, say, it states that, oh... Jason can once again hear the boat start up. Now, I never remember that being the case. If you guys do, let me know. But, you know, I've played it from launch. I never remember hearing the boat make a startup noise. And I'm pretty sure there wasn't even a boat available in the PC beta. So why they felt the need to do this change, I have no idea. Most of the changes in this game have come because of, well... The community crying, you know, people complaining. At first, you know, no one really knew what they were doing with this game. Oh, Jason's overpowered. No one can live. So what happened? They nerfed Jason. They nerfed him big time. You know, the big thing was taking away that long grab that he had. You know, they got rid of team killing, all this and that. It was because it was causing an uproar. People were complaining. I don't really remember people complaining about the boat not having a startup noise. To me, it was the perfect trade-off. You know, with the car, Jason hears it start up. But if he stops it, you have a chance to escape. Especially if you're a passenger in the car. With the boat, forget about it. He stops that boat, you're dead. There are a couple instances where that might not be entirely true. As I've said in the past, you know, on Pinehurst, the Jarvis house, because it's close to the shoreline most of the time... If Jason stops the boat, you have a chance to make it to shore. If you're the passenger in the boat, or I should just say if there's two people in the boat, Jason can only kill one at a time. So you have a chance to escape, or at least to make it to shore. But now, you're dead meat. Jason hears that boat. And to me, I just thought it was more fair before. Hey, the boat doesn't make a noise when it starts up, but if Jason sees you, if, he sees, if he's checking his map, paying attention, you're dead. Now... He doesn't have to check the map all the time. So why this change came about, I have no idea. But being in a boat now, you're pretty much dead meat. Your only viable option is to start the boat and run away. And then come back later. Because as long as Jason doesn't pull you out of the boat, 
it doesn't get quote unquote destroyed, you don't have to restart it again. So basically that's your only option now. Start the boat, run away, try to come back later when he's busy. Other than that, the boat is pretty much a death trap now. Another bug that they claimed that they fixed was the counselor interaction is being locked. And the only thing is people are still complaining that this is an issue. Now it happened to me on more than a few occasions. Basically what would happen is, and I think it usually happened after I got out of a pocket knife, if I used the pocket knife to escape Jason, but it could just occur at random. Basically, once you break free, you couldn't do anything. You can't use the R2 button to attack. You can't use the X button to climb into a window. Basically, you're screwed. I remember, you know, one time I was lucky enough to survive because the police had been called and I was just able to dodge and evade Jason. But it's really a detriment. And again, they claim that this has been fixed, but it's still happening. At least people are reporting it to where you just can't use your R2 button. You can't use square. You can't use X. You can't do anything. All you can do is run. So whether or not they keep looking at that and try to fix that, your guess is as good as mine. I know that the big issue when this would occur for me is when I was driving the car. If I was the driver, and it only happened to the driver, but if you were driving the car and Jason stopped the car, you couldn't use the R2 button. So yeah, sure, I'd have a weapon in hand, he stops the car, I get out, I can't attack him. Nothing you could do. There did seem to be the only fix in that instance was that you had to drop your weapon, hold down on the D-pad, and then pick it up again. Then you could use R2 again. But, you know, talk about a hassle. You got Jason on your ass. You have to drop your weapon and then pick it up again. Uh, no thank you. So we'll see, like I said, if they fix that. I'm not too optimistic. But we'll see what happens, especially since they claim they had fixed it already. It's like, come on, guys, let's uh, get on the ball here. I can tell you a quick little story of a Jason interaction problem that I had. I was up against a group of counselors. They were fighting me, you know. And again, I was the Jason pinata. There was nothing I could do. You know, I had to hold down block the entire time. Eventually, their weapons broke. I was able to kill one counselor, but there were still two more. So I go after them. They found new weapons. There I am, just holding down the block button. You know, nothing else I could do. I was out of knives. I could have ran away, grabbed some more knives, but I said to hell with it. I'll just stay here and fight them. Well, what happened? Eventually, Tommy Jarvis, he hit right through the block. The mask went flying. The sweater girl was right there. I was dead meat. So what did I do? I tried to shift away really quick. Well, she caught me in my shift with the sweater. I'm spamming the X button. I get out of it. They don't kill me. Lucky me, right? Well, I think because I was shifting when she used the sweater, basically the rest of the match, I couldn't use shift anymore. All my other abilities still worked. I could sense them. I could morph. I could still attack and grab all of that. But... I could not shift after counselors anymore, and I have to tell you, trying to chase down counselors without your shift is uh, pretty difficult. So that's just one more bug, and there are still plenty more bugs to go around. They haven't fixed the rainbow blood at Pinehurst. The list could go on and on. Nevertheless, the game is still in its best state, probably, that it's ever been. It is such a joy to play as Jason and not have to worry about who the host is. Oh, I can't kill this guy or the game's going to end early. And really, that affects counselor fun too. You're having a good match, you think things are going well, all of a sudden you get kicked out to the main menu. Not good. So, these dedicated servers are great, but the bugs, eh. Plus, this has brought back some older players, you know, if anything, just to try it out, just to see how things are going. So, of course, the Jason Killers are out in full force. Like I said, I nearly died 
in that instance where then I could no longer use my shift. And there was actually another time that I've been playing over the past few days where I should have died. The only reason I didn't is because Tommy uh, was a complete buffoon. He had no idea what he was doing. He was focused on escape. Otherwise, my mask was off. I would have been dead there too. And I think that really sucks. I do not think the point of the game should be to kill Jason. It should be to escape. But again, they've never really buffed Jason, and they've never really nerfed the counselors. They've taken away items, sure, but the whole combat system would have to be redone, and they're just not going to do that. You know, not at this stage of the game. But all in all, I am very satisfied with this update. Like I said, I don't think the game has ever been in a better state. Because let's face it, it's always been filled with bugs. It's going to be filled with bugs. So, has this brought new life to the game? Is this a resurgence? Well, sadly, no. No matter what, this game will always, uh... You know, it is what it is, and it's just not going to change, folks. It's still dying. The biggest issue, dedicated servers are great, but there's uh, still a minute and a half wait time after one game until another one starts. People don't ready up. It's ridiculous. People leave after every match. That's another big issue, and I don't blame them either. You know, someone like me, I only really care about playing Jason at this point. Why wait around after I die or escape? You know, there's nothing uh, for me to unlock. I don't need the CP, so there's no point. So people are still leaving early. You know, the salt mines, they're not doing anything. People are quitting. If they're not Jason, if they're about to die. And again, I can't blame them. There's nothing left to do in this game. But even though I have all these complaints, this update gets a big thumbs up from me. How could it not? The biggest issue with the game was people leaving early. The game ending early because the host left early. Now that that's not an issue, the game is much more enjoyable. Yes, there are still plenty of problems. The bugs that I listed. There's still plenty of other bugs. You know, the lip sync, the sound, it's a little off during the opening cutscenes of all the single player challenges. And it happens too when you play against the boss. The opening little cutscene, the sound is a little bit off. There's issues like the Pinehurst Rainbow Blood. It's still there. Nevertheless, guys, the game has not been more fun. If you're a new player, this is perfect for you. Now you'll always be credited with playing as long as you stay until the end of the match. You'll earn your CP, your XP. You can continue to level up. You can unlock new Jasons, new clothing for the counselors. The bloody Jason skins and weapon swapping, so that's great. If you're a older vet, you gave up on the game, you were sick of it, you couldn't take it anymore, I'm sick of the host leaving, I can't even get a full game in. Now is the perfect time to jump back in. Give it a shot, see what you think. Are you gonna, you know, still have fun, or is it, you know, eh, I really can't take it anymore. I think everyone, you gotta give it a shot. Come back to the game, see if it's still enjoyable. Now for me, it's a little bit of a different story. You know, I was just about to give up on this game, and I think no matter what, I still am. You know, you can only play the same game for so long, and eventually you get tired of it, and that's where I'm at. I can tell you, I was just about ready to quit the game again. I was going to get a boosting partner, get the platinum, and be done with it all. It was tough to find the full lobby. Hosts were still quitting. I was done. So yes, for me, the dedicated servers, I'll continue to stick around. I'd really like to get that platinum and not have to boost it. But, you know, we'll see. Like I said, you can only play the same game for so long. And while it sucks that there's no new content, yes... I wanted new kills, I wanted a new map, I wanted Uber Jason. The biggest issue for me is the fact that we never got a new game mode. Whether it be Paranoia, or just something that they could have done with this game mode. 
There's just so many things that they could have still added to this game, and they just missed out on. So I'll see how much longer I decide to play this game. I can tell you right now, I have enough videos saved up to last until the beginning of next year. So that's probably what I'm going to do. You know, as long as I continue to release five a week, only on the weekdays, I'll continue uploading a Jason vid through December, probably through January of next year. And then, you know, I'll probably, hopefully, have the Platinum Trophy by then. And then I'll just give up. So that's going to do it for me, guys. Let me know what you think. Have you guys gotten into the game since the dedicated servers have been launched? What do you think? Are you finding it more enjoyable? Are you encountering any of the issues that I mentioned? How much life do you think this game has left? And how much longer do you think you personally will be playing? I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts on it. Because like I said, it is what it is for me. But overall... I definitely love this update. As always, guys, thank you very much for watching. And again, as always, I'll see you in the next video.